Hey everybody, welcome to the 2-Hour Track Challenge. My name is Ben underscore Burns, uh, and we're going to attempt to write a song in two hours or less uh, today. Um, full disclosure, we don't, I, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, uh, one of our cats passed away very suddenly yesterday, and in the past, this has been a very good way for me to kind of get out of my head for two hours. So we'll see <laughs> if that's uh, if that's what happens this time. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, this will just be a lost episode, and we'll 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 try again some other time. But um, I really want to be able to focus on things and then try to move forward and, and just kind of be a person again while absorbing all of this. Um, and I'm just going to start the timer. And I know that grief is something that you know, you can't rush, and I'm not trying to. Um, but I also feel, I just tried to load pigments into OBS. There we go. Um, I also know that it's just important to, to not just stop everything in your life to just be sad all the time. I think that there's value in kind of accepting that kind of stuff without it controlling every part of your existence. So, I kind of just want to do something really chill today. It's got a very interesting tonality on this. Anyway, like, and this isn't just going to be like the Ben Ben is sad show. Like, I I really want to focus on the task at hand and like, kind of the big thing that I've been dealing with is just like I don't have anything to do. I used that one recently. That's a good sound. Let's roll with this. Again, this is very freeform right now, and I'm okay with that. Um, for the intro, I'm going to pulling some sparse melody of the Pia Piano or something. Yeah. Like, I was just kind of, I was just kind of... 
I, I always when I do stuff like this, I always think of um, when I made that song on the moon seems unaffected um, acceptance, where basically I just sat down and I played a saxophone solo, and then I was just like, okay, let's record piano, and then I re did the piano. I was like, okay, well, the song's done. <laughs> it was like a 20-minute song, and it's like one of my favorites. Yeah, so, like, if, if, this, if this stream goes short, and we end up with a song afterwards, I'm still okay with that. Like, I I mostly just want to, I just want to do something, you know? Like, I, 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 I just, I, I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm just, like, floating along, not doing anything. And I, I know that that's just my brain wanting to have that consistency in my life and that's okay I I spent a lot of time yesterday writing some very bad and melodramatic lyrics to a song that I'll never write and that Remember helped Remember to say That helped a lot. Um I have um I have this uh this drawing that Madame Barry did of Lady. Which it's kinda hard for me to look at right now, but it's like perfect. So that's been on my desk for years. I have googly eyes on it because it makes me laugh. Um so I have like all these reminders and that's not a bad thing, but it's also a difficult thing to <laughs> to uh to parse, you know. And I'm I'm just trying real hard to to keep keep my brain moving in a productive way. Like I I guess that's kind of the crux of it, right? Like it's so easy to end up spiraling and you you end up like falling into this trap where it's just like well what if I did this or what if I did this and it's like well especially in this instance there's nothing we could have done it was it was a from what the vet could tell it was a heart condition that we didn't know about and like what exactly could you do there so it's it's just like So it's like, what, what exactly do you do? Um, so I'm thinking about trying to, trying to lock in the chords here so we can like, get a little bit more structure to this. Cause we have a really, a really nice opening. Kind of disaster piece, piece ish. I do like this pedal tone here. I kind of want to keep this, but I also like that it breaks off. To 
just to keep consistency. I, I don't want this intro to be super long, but... Polyphony Max? I must be hitting a Polyphony Max. Yeah, crank that baby up. So, yeah, I'm also wearing my appropriate I'm doing my best shirt today. Um, because that's, that's, uh, that's how I feel. So the reason why this doesn't sound cluttered is because of the same reason. So this is basically a, a, a minor six, except we just kind of put the, the bass on the top. So we're going. But yeah, it looks cluttered, but it's not. It's basically stacking um, the, the major or the, the the one and the six chord in the minor scale. question um overall yes i still have my moments which is fine like i get that but mm, thank you for the therapy husk now i have to give people money so that's the best way to do that <laughs> Actually, really just like this. Uh, but to answer your question, overall, I'm I'm doing okay. I'm I'm really I'm I'm struggling at some things and other things. It's like not a big deal. Um, I'm still taking it very easy at my day job, for. I'm sure some people are kind of annoyed at me for that because it's been busy, but like I have higher priorities than making a multi-billion dollar corporation happy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. Um, and I think that that's fine. No, I don't want to record. I just want to listen. Oh, yeah. No, 
know, I, I, I think I've talked about this before, but there is a book called The Four Agreements. And um, one of the four agreements is always do your best uh, with the stipulation that, there, that your best can change from day to day or even minute to minute. And it's fine. Like you just do the best you can with uh, the, the resources and the mental energy that you have. And you know, that's the best you can do. And you should not bend yourself out of shape for doing anything less than that. And, you know, I, I mentioned this at the start of the stream where it's just like, if for some reason I'm not feeling it and things just kind of don't go anywhere, I'm just going to turn off the stream and we'll try it again. You know, like I don't, I don't have any, any judgments or anything else today. Like I just wanted to see if this would help me because in the past it has, um, and you know, so far it's been nice. Like I, I can't really say we've made anything groundbreaking, but the fact that I am just doing something and I'm not thinking about all the terrible stuff that's happened in the last 48 hours, I think that that's uh, a good indicator for uh, anything. But yeah, like, I don't know. It's, it's weird that, um, in the past when, uh, when we had to put some of our other kitties to sleep, it was always on a Wednesday, which made my streams really hard to <laughs> coordinate, which is like a dumb thing for me to think about like that right, like, right now. But in, in the past, like, it's always been like, okay, now I have to push my stream out and I have to do all this other stuff. And And like, I, I just want to, you know, just want to do stuff. And I mean, obviously that, that sounds a little insensitive, insensitive without the context. And I, it's like, obviously like caring for my family and, and any of the, the pets within it. like that, that's far more important than sitting down and talking into a microphone for two hours. But like, this is my therapy to, to some degree. And I, and I want it to be something that is, um, what's the right word? Like, I, I like the fact that this is public, regardless of how many people are actually watching, you know, I like the fact that things are like, this is just what happens. This is like the life of an artist. Sometimes, uh, more often than sometimes, but stuff happens. So it's too far. good in the moment, full week, no judgment. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I guess I'll re-record that. I don't know why this is what popped out when I told Ableton to... What is this? Sure, Ableton. surviving uh, I don't know 
how much uh, uh, Twitter you've seen lately, but uh, one of our kitties passed away yesterday. So I'm a bit rough, but I really needed to, this is kind of what I was talking about before. Like I am just uh, doing my best. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I was uh, showing the picture you made of her earlier. Still have it on my desk. So I was thinking maybe like a really chill drum loop here would be cool. So yeah, like I'm, I'm surviving. But I do, I do like those, uh, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to kill your mood. I, I do like, um, the, the very, the noodly things. I, I don't really want to do that today, but. <laughs> These are all like too lo-fi hip hop. Yeah, pizza. These are some good loops, but definitely not the vibe that I'm looking for. Yeah. That's closer. I don't think all of our loops are going to fit here. Oh, excuse me. Actually, that might work pretty well. It kind of defends. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. It just doesn't fit the vibe of the song. These are all 808 things. Remember to save. Hey, buddy, remember to save. Where did all these loops come from? Like, I, I've i been putting in drum loop forever, and I haven't seen a lot of these before. Ooh, that one's a juicy one, huh? Yeah, that's that's the perfect. <laughs> throw a, a jungle beat in there, huh? What was the one back up here? It was like right before the Oliver stuff. I'm gonna throw that in there, see what happens. Okay, but you have to please stop. Um so yeah, like my goal today is just to be real gentle on myself and just try to um, just try to make something that I'm happy with. Yeah, no, I, I gotcha. Yeah. No, I, um, I agree. I, I still sit on Twitter a lot, but I have like some very, very localized places that I go and that's about it. And even that, like, I, I am starting to feel like it's becoming much less of a value in my life compared to how it was in the past. So I'm sure at some point I will just like, not use it because it's not like I'm really communicating with people that much anymore.
I think it depends on uh, which service is running it. But yeah. I don't know. It's it's a big hot mess and I just like part of me like sticking around to just kind of watch it all burn and watch all the people like consume each other over it, but part of me is just like, man, I've got more important things to do with my life than than this. So it's like part of it is just kind of like breaking that addiction that I've had with all of all of social media cuz like I really have no interest or drive in going to another social media platform, I'm kind of just done. But... Like, I don't know. I know as an artist, I should probably try to stay on top of at least some of the trends and not just become some kind of troglodyte that just hisses at any random person that... Oh my god, Ableton, why are you doing this to me? Um, so, like, I, I don't know, like... That's way better. Yep. Nope, that is, that is honest, that, that is my honest, uh, take right now as well. Um, it is, uh, it has been consumed by, I, I hate being so anti-capitalist every time I stream. <laughs> it's been consumed by basically corporations and rich people and there's no value in it anymore aside from just like, trying to yell into the void and, and get yourself uh, seen or heard. And, like, as an artist, like, obviously there's, there's so much that you need to do. try to do some extra chords here i i figure if we're not going to make the song complex um in any other way i think we should try to make it a little bit more interesting chord wise and maybe that will tickle my brain enough to make me feel like i did something successfully I like that, but boy, I screwed up a lot. I like that as an eight chord loop. Yeah, I was thinking we could kind of bounce around between some stuff. Um,
up to um so while i was kind of stewing the past 48 hours 24 hours um the the song name in search of distraction definitely has been on my mind which is to say like ISO colon distraction not in search of distraction um which is like more of a request than an uh it's more of a request than a verb if you if you know what i mean So that that bass is like real chonky, huh? I kind of like this mistake that I had. Um, So I think that's what I'm going to call this one, uh, in search of distraction, except you can't do colons and file names. I'll just have to remember. Um, <clears throat> cause that's definitely what I'm in, in the search of right now is like productive distractions, you know, like things that keep me motivated but like I watched a lot of movies yesterday which it's it's nice it's nice to do that but it's also really frustrating because like I want to I want to do stuff. I did finish Quiet Spaces Volume 3 yesterday which granted there wasn't a whole lot left to do. Um Based on song name, you've tracked that somewhere else. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I'm just fastidious. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to sharing quiet spaces. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it out on Friday on my birthday. Um, I hope people like it. Um, there are some songs in there that are very hard for me to listen to now because they have like cat purrs and stuff in it. Um, but some very, very good songs in there. This is where I was just like, oh, what chords am I playing? Um, Yeah, 
yeah, so we're going D sharp to F. Why does this sound so weird? I don't know. Maybe this kind of maybe this lo-fi bass isn't really what I need right now. How about this? Let's just go like this. This particular is from the toy box pack, not the woodshop pack, but yes, the woodshop pack's a good one too. Remember to save. Hey everybody. Remember to save. Officially C minor, like most of my songs. Um, this one kind of bounces around a lot. So C minor to what would that be? A flat or A sharp? Or B flat major? To uh, uh, E flat major? To F minor? basically what it is there's a lot of like layered chords in there I'm kind of curious how this flows now I realized that I didn't respond to you, Adam, very before. And yeah, like that's the whole reason why social media exists still. It's still on my radar for artists. It's just like, you know, I have to talk about my stuff somewhere. But even that is just exhausting. Um, but I have the... I have the luxury of, like, an income stream from a day job where I don't... I don't know what your situation is, but it's like I feel like you get a lot of your income through your shop and stuff. And it's just like, if I didn't have that, then yeah, I would have to grind on social media all the time, and that would just drive me crazy.
So, yeah, like, I... I'm just, like, not interested in social media anymore. Which is too bad, because... There's a, all my friends are on there, and I don't really have a lot of friends in real life anymore. This is just a backing track now. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And like that's kind of the same thing with with Teen, like she she does have a day job. She cares for um she does like long-term care for her sister, but um I really think that you know, I'm able to to help her work on her jewelry and live out like the kind of artistic dream that someday I wish to have too. Like the ideal situation is that like, you know, I help her get to a place that she wants to be in. Um, and then she can help me get to get into the same place, <laughs> kind of piggyback off each other. feed yourself that's important got to do this too Here's hoping someday we can all escape social media. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the dream? I've been reading um, books in the solar punk genre recently, which have been kind of neat. I, I really, I really like that vibe. <clears throat> Yeah, no worries, Husk. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Oh, good luck, Toxic. Yeah, thank you. You take care as well. Tell him he can have the leftovers. He gets, he gets the scraps. Could have sworn I hit the button. Let's try again.
kind of want to uncomplicate these chords a little bit. Not a lot, just uh. So, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of rolling with whatever comes my way right now. What's the processing on these? I'm just going to steal that. <laughs> Something feels weird about it. It might be too high. I missed that. Sorry, Mimi. How are you? Hi. I was I was so focused on the the improvising stuff. I must have missed that. Oh. Yeah, chat must have died. Hey, there it is. Thank you for the resub. I appreciate that. Something must have happened on the internet on the internet. Oh, there was a network error. Yeah, Twitch Twitch kind of pooped the bed for a minute. Yeah, now we're back. Huh. Yeah, I kinda lost lots of my Twitch stuff. Anyway, we're, um, I guess this is kind of lo-fi hip hop, but it's mostly just, uh, just kind of chill out, you know, it's music I've done a million times before, but that's okay. What I was going to do is I was going to try to Yeah, just like try to screw around with the beat a little bit. That's not how this works. I can try to do it live, but I think that's going to be even worse. I, I don't really know how to parse this beat yet. It does not help that we already have this playing too. So I just wanted the first one. I just want to see how this fits. Oh, okay. It, it leans on the, the swing. Um, okay. Why doesn't that work now? Remember to save. Hey, 
everybody. Remember to save. That's closer. I don't know. I just wanted to, I wanted to screw around with this. Like this song isn't complicated in the way that you know, it's not complicated uh for other things. It's just like take some simple elements and just mess with them and see what happens. That's not where the snare is. Where is the snare on here? Oh, it's way up there. kind of misses the the full the fullness of this though which is hmm. I don't know maybe this is a bad idea that's okay Can also just do this and kind of bounce between them in that way. It's basically the same. Why is this still playing? I have this. I wish there was a toggle for this MIDI editor preview. I don't think there is. I should look that look into that someday. fits better. Okay. This needs to change. Um, I'm not really sure where the song's going now. I mean, we've still got plenty of time, but that's not really beneficial. Hey, take care, Toxic. Thanks for hanging out, buddy.
Feels like this needs an upper. on the timing, but that's okay. Oh, actually, that was pretty spot on. I'm getting better at being more on the beat <laughs> sometimes. So... Anyway. These are really loud. This, are these velocity sensitive? Kind of. Guess I could just look. Yeah, it, it is velocity sensitive to the the envelope VCA. something since we're we're low passing it it would be nice to kind of replace that high end with something um, that's a little bit less harsh because basically what we're doing is we're running with a super saw 
which does good things, but... if we can get this working. This will be interesting. Um, so I'm using an arpeggio for this because I want to see if this works. So it'll make my life easier if it does. Yeah, it seems to. Um, I'm gonna make these louder. And I really don't want the low end because we're already we're already controlling that with another instrument. So it sounds weird like that, but I think once we combine these the notes are a bit harsh now so let's lower the volume and raise the compression so we have the softness of it a little bit more too much first part so 
that put stuff outside and it grows. Man, that sounds nice. Only thing we put outside still dies, except for the catnip. Catnip will grow anywhere. Hopefully we'll be able to put some stuff outside soon. I have like little lettuce seeds growing in the basement, so hopefully we can do that. But I've I've made gnocchi once. I really liked it. Uh, it's a lot of work to make it yourself, um, but it's good stuff. I wish I wish it had stayed a little warmer. Like obviously from it going from uh two feet of snow to eighty degrees in like two days was not great either. But I wish it had kind of stayed a little bit more temperate. Cause I would much rather have outside time. Yeah, exactly. Like it was it was a lot of fun to make and like learn how to make, but boy, I don't really want to do that again. I want to have this loop but without the snares because the snares are so loud. And I kind of want to, I don't know if I'm winding this song down or if I'm just like doing a breakdown for it or whatever, but it's just like. But without the snares, it's kind of boring, huh? To learn to make everything from scratch. I think I think it's good to know, but I also know that it's a lot of work and I don't always want to make stuff from scratch. So I th I think that's good to know, but yeah. Same with like making pasta. It's it's really fun to make pasta and it's not hard, but it's also just like, there's a box right there. I don't know if I like this section. Um, It's not hard. It's actually super, super easy. It's just kind of time consuming um, to roll it out flat enough to like cut into boilable shapes. I almost kind of like that it hard stops there. Yeah, 
and you can get like a pasta roller that attaches to a table or whatever. Um, and those are super useful too. Like making the actual dough is easy. You, um, you get a big pile of flour, you put some eggs in it, and then you mix it up. <laughs> you, you've got, you've got pasta dough. Um, but like rolling it out and cutting it and all that other stuff, that's what, that's what takes the time. Kind of like that it just does a hard change to something else. I think that fits pretty well actually. You could do this, but I don't think that really helps. Nope. I don't know. We're going to the wrong chords, that's why it sounds weird. Oh, way better. Okay, and then, yeah. could also further low pass this I actually think that that's that works pretty well Yeah, 
Yeah, it's better. the delay to be as crazy as it is. Soften that. Oh, uh, yeah, we need the delay, don't we? Or the reverb. Like it's not the same. Um, and we could do some kind of like amalgam with the, the slicing, but I don't think that's gonna work either. Ah, oh, itches. value to this at all either like having some some drums come in is nice but remember to save hey everybody remember to save it would help if these were better go like 
like this. I still want to see if we can get this to work, because I think bringing the drums back in some form would be cool, but... see what fits and what doesn't. Doesn't have to be fancy. Thank you, I do too. I think that uh, suits the mood pretty well right now. Like, all this has to do is just be like, hey, hey, listener, I know you're enjoying this part, but it's going to change now.
here or there. That might be kind of neat. corners are better. I agree with you there. Also, I saw at some, um, at some point you were, you had those little, um, name tag button things that said, I'm the artist and I'm the helper. Um, I think I kind of want to get a pair of those. Do you, are you going to be selling those? Because I know Teen has some shows coming up and I think it would be fun to have. <laughs> okay. That would be awesome. I definitely want to get those once they're available in your shop. Because sometimes people come up to me and be like, did you make any of this? And I'm like, no, I did not. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I would absolutely take one. Or a pair of them, rather. Yeah, I saw that they were a bit tiny, but that's okay. I think, I think they're still kind of cute and funny. Yeah. I think even like as a lapel, like kind of just like up top or whatever like they don't have to be like name tag like right on your chest but something something that you just kind of that's just available so you can be like don't make me tap the sign you know <laughs> i think that it would be fun to have those um so i'm thinking to to round the the end of this song off uh, i was thinking about just doing some um saxophone stuff because why not I do what I want look at look out look at this I was smart and I put some velcro around the cord so it doesn't get all ripped up when I try to pull this out of my very unorganized sound maker box Yeah, magnetic is, is great too. Let's see, I'm not going to run over the cable. Um, so now I just need to find... Uh, I think it was... Acceptance. I'll just put this in there. I mean, it would probably work pretty well. It's in the right key. I, I'm not going to keep that, although it sounds very good. <laughs> um... That's as low as it goes, okay. Okay, let's roll. Whoa, velocity, huh? Let's try that again.
out there. Kind of ran out of breath. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm basically just going to fade it out here. Which I'm okay with. This song's six minutes long already. It's like the blessing and the curse of, of making kind of these chill out jang. Where, where did I run out of breath on here? Um, I'll just have to Kenny G it. And just Look at that. I don't need to learn how to do circular breathing. I can just do this. I can just draw a line. I don't know why Kenny G had such a problem. Um, so I think that's this song. I was just going to have this um, fade out. Yeah, we don't need these. I don't even know. I don't even know if we need a fade out. here it's weird um yeah i'm gonna play through the whole thing like i said it's a bit of a long song remember to save i'm gonna remember to save you should too uh, yeah. thinking about putting like field recordings or something in here but I don't think it needs it the the pad has more than enough like upper end hiss and fuzz to it that yeah I think it's good you could try adding this over here
ganz okay da. The phasing doesn't help. Sometimes it does, but that makes it sound way worse. Maybe getting rid of some of the fundamentals. Yeah, I th let me listen to that again. Throwing a little bit of Valhalla um, shimmer on this might actually do a lot of good um, if we can get it to play nice. Because it has that like sparkle to it. And I think that that could do some. It doesn't have to be very prominent. Yeah, that does help. Okay. Because we're basically done. Probably throw a transient master on that too, or a transient shaper. And uh, we want to add another do I just have an isolated because I will add my own I don't think we have one here like I just want that really basic tambourine sound that's on top of the snare I was kind of hoping that I could find it in here but I don't think it's isolated at all Okay. So, because what I wanted is I wanted just another very subtle layer of rhythm to, to come in right here. So, um, let's 
see if I have a basic tambourine that I can use. What the hell are these? Let's try drum kits. That's not bad. Like, how about this? Let's see if we can hack something together. Because really what I want is like something that's really kind of short and truncated. Got, we've got time. I know I stopped the timer, so whatever. Um, okay. Hey, thank you for that, Mimi. I will plant a tree on the 5th, I think. Yeah, the 5th is when I'll be doing that stuff. So next Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday. Be paying. Ten dollars to the uh, National Forest Foundation. As always, I, I do appreciate y'all forcing me to spend money. <laughs> it's for a good cause, and I'm glad that people actually do it. But how much have we? 194. This is going to be, it's going to break the 200 mark. It's going to be $200 sent to the National Forest Foundation. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is kind of a crummy way of setting this loop up, but this is the, the way I chose to do it for some reason. Um, okay, so this needs to be shorter. This reverb needs to get the heck out of my way. Um, yeah, I think these little ghost notes need, just need to be shorter and quieter and we should be good okay good enough duplicate a bunch until there's no more notes um well not here okay now we're done um, go back to here. All corners aren't a good job. That's a lot of work. I have, um, I'm helping Tina punch, punch some of her stuff and labels and whatnot. And it's, uh, it's kind of therapeutic, but also it makes my wrist hurt because it's one of these big like fuck off punchers this thing's no joke what yeah i know you do it's a pain in the butt i'm gonna throw a wider on this i think that'll yeah that'll help a lot to work out.
industrial corner rounders. There you go. I mean, it really depends on how, how many corners you need to round. <laughs> But yeah. this loops well. Yeah, that loops all right. And then, yeah, and that's the thing, if you don't do it that often, it's like probably not as useful. I like that it kind of ends on this suspended chord. Okay, we're done. That was a fun one. I'm really glad that we were able to get together and my brain wasn't too crowded with everything. Um, so yeah, on Friday, I am thinking about doing another stream. I'm not entirely sure what yet, but it's my birthday and I usually do a... Thank you. It's usually, I, I usually do a stream on my birthday, so... I don't know if we'll do a two hour track thing or if we'll just kind of hang out and do game dev or, or what, but it'll be a good way for me. Remember hey, to thank save. You. I appreciate that. Um, and remember to save. So most likely I will be doing um, a stream on Friday and possibly over the weekend. It kind of depends on schedule timings and all that other stuff, but um. I think that's everything I've got. Uh, thank you guys so much for being a part of this and uh, kind of putting up with my foggy brain today. But I think we had some good conversations and some good distractions, which is kind of the whole point sometimes. Um, but yeah, if you're not following, consider doing so. Um, that goes for Twitch and YouTube if you're watching this on the tubs. Um, but yeah, otherwise... I guess that's pretty much it. You can find me on Patreon if you wanted to get this song early. Uh, ben underscore Burns. Oh, that's in the description below. You can find it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get going. But guys, thank you so much again for being a part of this. It really does mean a lot to, uh, to have some people to hang out with while I make this stuff. So yeah, love you all. See you later. Bye. Now it's, now it's the after party. Put, I took my headphones off because my head was very warm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really do appreciate everybody hanging out. It means a lot. And then uh, hopefully I'll see you on Friday. Ableton might boop. It's almost done rendering. Bye. It looks like looks like my Steam or my stream preview crashed again, so I don't know when it's actually done streaming, so okay bye maybe question mark? <laughs>